हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शौर्य मिश्रा वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल विजन केयर एडवाइजर फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज डोमिनेंट आई सो लेट्स नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट डोमिनेंट आई फर्स्टली वी नीड टू नो वाई डोमिनेंट आई टेस्टिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड वाई हैज टू बी कन्फर्म्ड डोमिनेंट आई तो डोमिनेंट आई हैज टू बी कन्फर्म्ड बिफोर फाइनलाइजिंग द फाइनल सब्जेक्टिव रिफ्रेक्शन During the binocular balancing, the clarity of both eyes are not equal after subjective refraction. So, in binocular balancing, if one eye consistently remains clearer than the other eye, it indicates that one eye may be dominant eye. And we have to left the clearer image in dominant eye during the binocular test. So, we have to confirm which eye is dominant eye or relied upon when both eyes are working together. Let's know what is dominant eye. So friends, dominant eye means one eye is better at seeing or focusing than the other eye. It's the one that does more work when both eyes are open. Let's know how to determining the dominant eye. Friends, I'm explaining three procedure to determine the dominant eye. So you can use one of them to check the dominant eye. Procedure number one, arms method. So it is the easiest way to determine the dominant eye. So friends, give a target of single letter, just like six by sixty in Ifnel and chart, to the patient and ask to stretch both arms straight out in front with both eyes open. Then instruct them to use their hands to form a small triangular opening by overlapping their thumbs and index fingers towards the target on the wall, such as six by sixty line in Ifnel and chart. then center the hands within the triangular opening that have created with their hands while keeping the snellen chart or any object in view then close the patient's left eye if the object remains centered within the triangular opening it means the right eye is dominant eye but if the letter of snellen chart appears to move out from the triangular opening or is no longer centered then close the other eye and here close the right eye okay now object would be centered it indicates that patient's left eye is dominant eye so procedure number 2 plus lens method in this test we have to put plus 1 diopter lens over the refraction in both eyes with open eyes before putting the lens inform the patient that i am going to put a lens and your vision would be blurred compared to this vision and give the snellen chart target of 6 by 12 or 6 by 15 which can be able to read by the patient Now ask the patient to read and close one by one then confirm which eye can be able to see better compared to other eye if the patient says that he or she can read better from left eye that means his right eye is dominant eye and if the patient says that he or she can read better from right eye that means his left eye is dominant as we know that dominant eye is working more so dominant eye can react more and the dominant eye vision would be more blurred compared to non dominant eye after putting plus 1 diopter sphere now the third procedure is dolman method that is also called hole in the card test in this test you can give a card with a small hole in the middle and instruct it to hold it and ask to view a distance object through the hole with both eyes open and now you can alternatively closing the eye to determine which eye is viewing the object that is the dominant eye i hope this small video would be helpful for you thanks for watching stay tuned for more informative videos